with the power of two different AI tools that I want to share with you in this video, I was able to transcribe and translate most of my video files right now and also my audio files too. I want to show you my exact workflow. It will save you ton of money and ton of time. So the first one is for transcription and they have ton of free minutes that you could use. This is called Descript. I'll go ahead and link it on screen and below. But this option basically does a lot more than transcribing. I'm only going to show you just a brief transcription version and then we'll use the translation AI tool after this one. So once you get Descript installed, all I have to do is click on new project here. And here I chose the video option, but you could choose the audio option. So now all I have to do is take my file from my computer and drop it right here. So here's a file. So I'm going to grab it right here and I'm going to drag and drop it right here. And it usually takes just a few seconds. This is a two minute video file. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and choose my name. One option this has is it basically lets you do this AI voice overdub. So you could train it with your own voice and overdub any part of it where you make a mistake. Again, I'm not going to show you that in this video, but Descript has a ton of options like that, including editing a text file, which edits then the video file too, and the audio file. Then over here, you could transcribe this to a ton of different languages. So it will translate and transcribe. But I'm going to show you a tool for that part in a second. Right now, I'm just going to choose English for the English transcription. This is in English, the video. And as you can see over here is the entire text. I'm going to put it on mute here. But basically, if I just press play, it's going to follow along with the video word by word. And it is incredibly accurate. This is not done by any humans right now. This is just AI. And as I've been watching this, I've done it with close to 12 hours worth of videos just in the last week. Okay, but all I have to do is if I want to correct something, I just highlight it. And then the correct option here is right here. And I'm going to, I'm just going to select that and press enter. And it's going to change that for me. So I could quickly go ahead and change anything that I see as I go through it. So right here, I could add a period here and I could go ahead and capitalize this again real quickly. I could make changes and then it's going to follow along with everything I'm saying as I go through this whole process. Okay, now I'm going to go to publish here and I'm going to go to export. I could actually export the video or audio file if I alter this in any way. So if I edited sections out, it's going to let me just edit the fixed version of the video or audio. But here I just want the transcript and I have lots of different file formats, just plain text or Microsoft doc here. I'm just going to use the Microsoft Word doc here and I'm going to save this file. And then if I want the caption file, this lets you download the SRT file or the VTT file. This is how I subtitled my video. So I usually go ahead and export one of those as well. I could use those on YouTube, for example, or on my own platform for a caption subtitle file in addition to the transcript. Now, let me go ahead and open the transcript. I'll go to edit over here and select all. And then I'll go ahead and right click over here and copy everything. Now, here's the second platform that I'm going to show you for the translation portion. So all you have to do is go to deepl.com slash translator. And they do have a lot of free credits here as well. But I did get the upgraded version because I usually have much longer text files that I'm going to import here. They do have a limit on how much you could do at one time. If you want to keep using it for free, you will hit that limit. So I'm going to paste over here and this is my English detected. And did you see over here, the Spanish version just appeared just like that. I got the Spanish version. It took not even one second for this to translate from English to Spanish. And here's the most interesting part. I could select this option and I could click any other language. I believe they have over 30 right now. And look at this, just like this, two seconds later, I got the Chinese version. If I want the Portuguese version, two seconds later, I got the Portuguese version. All these, I could go ahead and press Command or Control A to select. I could go ahead and right click and copy. And then I could save it in the Word doc or any type of format that I want to save it as. I could also translate files from PDFs, docs and PowerPoint, but I could also do this with my caption file. If I copy and paste that caption file, I download it from Descript. This is English. This is Portuguese. Or if I want Japanese or Italian, here's Japanese, for example, it's going to take this and turn it into this type of format. If I save this as a plain text and then add .srt or .vtt at the end of that file type, I got myself a whole different language.
So on my website, when I do this, you could go over and press the subtitle option. Now you have English, Portuguese, Spanish, Chinese. Then I could use a free platform like Google Analytics to see where my visitors are coming from. All the different countries are listed here. I could take the top 10. I could use DeepL. I could do the caption file that way. I could do the transcription that way. And then I could basically make my platform accessible to a whole lot more people. And the platform that I mentioned that I'm using this for, this website, Skill Leap AI, it's basically an entire catalog of AI courses and content. So you could learn everything in the world of AI, including how to use ChatGPT correctly with hundreds and hundreds of prompts included, ton of different tutorials on content creation platforms like Midjourney, Runway, Adobe. There are nearly 200 tutorials. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description so you could learn more. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.